Good day everyone. Recently bought a DDS signal generator from eBay for about $20. It was just a cheap one. And um, I'm going to show you what sort of waveforms we can get out of it uh, in a moment. But first I just want to talk about a problem that I actually had. On the listing it actually said that you can use anywhere from 9 to 12 volts to power the, power the device. But I don't know if it was such a good idea saying that you can use up to 12 volts. Because this thing actually has a charge pump on the board. If you take the um, LCD off the front, it's just this um, LCD is just socketed, you can just pull it out. And then underneath, you can see that chip there is actually the charge pump, and it's actually in a socket too. I don't know if they expect this thing's going to burn out quickly, but um, they've actually put it in a socket, which was convenient for me because mine actually did burn out. I used a 12 volt power pack on the input, and the, um, and the charge pump burnt out. Um, so I had to replace it, and I used a TC1044, the low noise TC1044 in its place, and it started working again. Somewhere along the line of the of the fault, it also knocked out the um, the five volt um, voltage regulator. Uh, but I had a lot of those on hand because they they're used with um, the PT2399 delay chip. So I had some of those handy, and I just whacked one in, and it started working again. So yeah, if you buy one, just watch out for this um, for this. Uh, problem with the um, with the supply voltage. I wouldn't use 12 volts. I don't think it's a good idea. I'd use 9 volts just to be just to be safe because these charge pumps they do not like over voltage. And if your 12 volt power pack is 12.1 volts, it'll probably kill it. Um, so yeah, this is just something to look out for if you do actually get one. So let's have a look at what um, what signal you can get out of this thing. You know how how clean it is and what they look like. So first up, we've got a 100 hertz sine wave. Um, and it looks a bit fuzzy. It's about uh, it's one volt division, so um, you can see down here it's about 4.3 volts, um, 4.3 volts peak to peak. And if we increase and decrease the amplitude, you'll notice that the noise uh, increases uh, significantly at a certain part of the um, amplitude swing. So if we go up, it sort of stays about the same. If we go back, You'll notice that at one particular point, the um, noise starts to get quite noisy right about there. Look at that. It just increases quite significantly, and it's actually down the lower end um, that, it, that it increases. It's pretty much unusable um, underneath about... Yeah, you can see it just got, got a lot skinnier there. It's, it's strange. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. If it's got something to do with the, me changing the charge pump, I can't see why the charge pump would have anything to do with it because this this TC1044 is quite um, is a quiet charge pump. It's got the uh, it's got the low noise option, so it should be it should be pretty much equivalent to what was in there or, or to start off with. And it's not coming from the power either because I've got the battery plugged in, um, so it gets kind of really noisy there. I'll just change the voltage um, per division the other way. You can see it's got masses of noise. It's just almost, it's pretty much just unusable. I don't know what, how you're supposed to analyze something that you're working on when, you, when you're getting that sort of noise. But it does go back to normal right down the bottom end. Um, and I'll just try and get that on the screen. So that's at um, 50 millivolts per division. And you can see that um, it's very, it's still got a lot of noise on it. Um, it's better than it was before. If I turn the amplitude back up, you can see just automatically it just turns so furry just once you start turning it up. So there's like this middle section of the um, signal that just looks really bad. Once you get really high, it starts to get skinny again. Um, so it's yeah, I mean, if this is normal for this sort of um, if if it's normal for this sort of signal generator, it's um it's not very good. It's not very clean. So that's at 100 hertz. So let's just see what happens when we increase the um, increase the frequency. So this is at a thousand hertz. Um, again, it doesn't look too bad. It's still got a bit of noise there, but um, as you can see, as soon as you start turning up the amplitude, it just turns bad real fast. And I just don't know, you know, if something else, maybe something else on the board was damaged when um, when the um, charge pump went. Uh, I've I've seen someone else say that um, at the lower frequencies, it's the uh, he had a different 
I think he had a different. Uh, different version, but I mean they, they might be all sort of copying the same design and he had issues with the lower the lower frequencies being very noisy It's pretty much just yeah, it's, I mean once it gets like that. It's how you can't analyze that. It's just It's yeah, it's terrible So I'll increase it to uh, I'll increase it to 10k now and again, you can see, you know, it, it sort of, I don't know, probably maybe acceptable there. At least you've got some sort of basic sort of sort of sine wave shape instead of this woolly thing that, that, that appears. But again, you turn it up and it, um, it goes bad. If you're going to use it for higher voltage stuff, you might be all right. I'll just, I'll just show you what this looks like um, in uh, two volt division at the moment. So you can see it sort of gets furry and then it sort of flattens out again. It's actually clipping a bit there, but um, yeah. So I mean, that's uh, that's at 10 volts or nearly 11 volts peak to peak. So the offset will just move that up and down too, so you can sort of sit it uh, between the. You can see the ceilings, the ceiling and the floor. So yeah, you can just move it wherever you want. If you want it in the middle, or if you want it at deep at it um, uh, with with or without a DC offset. So we'll just check out the um, the what the high frequency speed um, the high frequency signal looks like and see if that's any better. So this is at one megahertz and um, it's got a s serious amount of over and under shoot. I don't know. I think this might be normal for a um, DDS signal generator, um, particularly a cheap one. I suppose you're going to get issues like that and I don't know if it would be a problem for you or not if whatever reason you need a, a high frequency signal generator for I don't do high frequency stuff I actually do um, audio stuff with the guitar pedals and things so I was more interested in a small signal uh, a small sort of maybe 500 millivolt um, 1k sort of signal um, but this thing kind of fails at doing that so after I had issues with the signal generator, I, um, I, I looked into finding a, a signal generator from somewhere else and um, I downloaded a program for my Android mobile phone called Signal Generator and it can actually output up to 450 millivolts, which is okay for the sort of testing that I'm doing with um, guitar pedals. It's probably approximately around where you'd need it for a, for a guitar signal from what I know so far it would be. Um, and at the moment I'm outputting a 1K... Uh, a, a one kilohertz um, sine wave, and it, uh, it's coming up down the bottom here is one kilohertz, and it will go up to it'll go up to 20k, which is sort of again probably all you'd need for a um, for a uh, for testing guitar pedals and audio sort of um, stuff. So for a basic sine wave, oh, there's another program I've got too actually that will do square waves and triangles and things like that, but it doesn't get to the same sort of amplitude for some reason. This will get 470. Uh, nearly 500 um, millivolts um, peak to peak, which is um, which is which is good enough for my purposes. So I'm hoping between the signal generator and the uh, the the DDS signal generator and this signal generator, I'll I'll get by. I'm I'm predicting that I'm just going to end up using the mobile phone because that thing's just so noisy. It's it's um yeah, it's no good. If I end up fixing it um, with changing the charge pump to the 7660 that it came with. Uh, I'll update the video, but at this point, it's just it's just terrible. Uh, the noise on it's just shocking. I mean, you can see how much clearer this looks, and this is just a mobile phone app. So, um, yeah, I'll probably be using this until I can um, get something better going on with that signal generator, because at the moment it's pretty much useless. So, if you've got any questions about signal generator or the um, signal generator app, um, yeah, just leave a comment. Ask away down below. Um, you might be seeing this. Um, this app or the signal generator in more videos uh, as, I, as, as I record them. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Um, give me a like if you, if, you liked the, um, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.